How we doing boys and girls? Another episode of Just the Tip with the bone, tennis tips. Um, I'm about to post a video, uh, working a little bit more on the forehand, and I'm a, you know, there were some inside out shots that you know you do cross court or whatever, but these are just inside out so you could actually see the, the way I hit the ball. And I wanted to go over a couple of, um, like I said before when I was doing the tennis stuff, like the grip you use and this, that, and the other. There's a lot of tennis, the service, the grip is very important. You kind of want to use not just one, but you want to keep it kind of traditional almost, I mean, with a, an exception. But forehands, you can kind of do all kinds of stuff. Like, like some people, like I said, the, the, the traditional over the, uh, over the shoulder finish, a neutral grip, western, uh, semi-western. I do full western. You know, that's because you want to make sure when you swing, you cock it, you're parallel with the ground. You can't be like this. So when I was neutral, I was always doing this. It was always like that. Yeah, just naturally. So instead of just trying to change that with my wrist, I just spun it in my hand. Okay? So then it was more of a, and then I can get that rotation, you know, and that brings up another point. You know, like I was saying before, like when, uh, whew, have that removed. Uh, when the doll came out, you know, like I was, I was teaching, you know, and they said, oh, that, that's, that's too risky. Nobody's ever going to finish across here and coming across. And it's always got to be like this. And you catch it in a traditional tr trophy pose bullshit. And of course, they all said, like I said before, they said the doll would never be anybody. Yeah, we, or we covered that. So when you work your forehand on the videos, it'd be one regular speed, one slowed down. Like I said, my, my motion's a little bit more closed, a little bit open faced. You can do, you know, sideways. I, I got a lot of strength, so I can, I can do that. But you can see both ways. And when I fit, you know, I cock the wrist and, you know, the hand in. People wonder really why that's that way, you know. One, you're tracking the ball, you get it in, you're making it. Also, for me, it makes sure you're keeping your body, your, the ball at body's length, at hand's length, you know, because you don't want to hit the ball here. It makes sure that you're extending, you're getting full extension, okay. That's, so that's why I track it. I don't like to see guys with the arm down here kind of doing this. So just, I track it and then whammo. So footwork is very important as, as well. It's, it's more, you know, rotation of the hips and this, that, and the other. Shoulder, wrist, like I said, mine's really wristy. Work with it. If the, if the over the, the shoulder top works for you, then work it, you know. Try different things, neutral, semi-western, full western. Work your grip and really get that rotation. Your balls, your balls <laughs> should, be, <laughs> should be clearing the net by, you know, five, 10 feet, like five, at least five. I mean, I like to have a lot of, you know, every now and again, you'll slap one to hit it for, but. For the most part, I want to shape a ball to really get over the net and really have room for error. And also, it's going to kick up high. Anytime uh, an opponent pros, are, they can deal with it pretty easy. But when you're on the court playing with, you know, your, your regular three five four O's or whatever you're playing with, or your local yokel, nobody likes a shot that bounces up, especially if I played. They have to hit it up around their shoulders. They don't like it. So I like to hit a shot that deep when it bounces up. You know, I've hit with people and. I, you know, I hit with this girl the other day. She was getting a lesson. She's bragging about, oh, I'm a four point, this, that, and the other. I had my first top spin. I cranked one, knocked the racket out of her hands. Because she's not used to that, you know, hit with spin. So give yourself, shape the ball, brush the ball. You think about brushing the ball, okay? You want it to stay on the strings for as long as you can. And uh, you'll see in the videos how that works and how you can, in the footwork is everything. You can't, you know, like I said, when you, I, I, I hit something like this because I can, you know, but, but you kind of want to work it around. Bam! And then circle back in. Circular, circular. Bam! Circular, circular. It's a circle. Don't think of uh, 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 uh. It's kind of like, it's almost like a dance. You ever see Roger Federer? He just glides across the court. Everybody else, that's why he never gets hurt. Well, he went most of his career without getting hurt because it's more of a, a, a glide, smooth and circular motion. It's not really jerky. And that's why Nadal has a lot of injuries because he is very herky jerky. Uh, 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 uh. Circular, okay? So anyways, um, now that we cover that, I want to cover a nice little funny story for you. I'm not, I cannot, I cannot <laughs> reveal the names of these players because they were top 10. I mean, top 10 in the world, big time. And this was a major tournament. And if I give you the names, obviously I'm outing them. I can't do that. And if I even tell you the tournament it was, you're going to put two and two together and figure out who it was. I can't do that even though I want to because it's funny. But um, we were all partying at the Portofino. I shouldn't even have said that, but <laughs> we did <laughs> in South Beach. That'll, that's the only clue I'm going to give you. And it was a bunch of players, and there was a tournament coming on. And we're all there the night before, and you know they got qualifying going on. And the, this top 10 player, the, the next day, he had to play a qualifier for his first round match. And he was like, "Man, I'll go wax his ass up quick. No big deal." And we're all partying, and we're doing blow and a lot of other things. You may think, "Oh my God, tennis players do they do drugs?" And I'm like, "Yes, listen to me. Tennis players do crazy shit their whole life. You got to remember, they were they were." Uh, 
pampered their whole life. They were like, you know, a thousand drop shots, then you get ice cream, and they were, didn't have a social life, and they were told what to do, when to do it, when to do it, what plane to catch, what time to wake up, their whole life. And then when they go out on tour, they're kind of like, whoa, what's going on? And then when they get, they lose a match early, or they got, out, they got a week off, trust me, they're doing foul shit. Foul shit. And you may say, well, how do they pass these drug tests? Well, top 10 players seem to just magically do that. Let's just leave that alone. Okay, like 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 Serena Williams, when, when, that, when she was uh, falling all over the place and they said it was a stomach virus. Look, I just graduated nursing school. There is no, there is no virus, stomach virus in the world that'll make you do this when you serve. Okay, so I'll leave that topic alone as well because it wasn't, let's just say it wasn't a stomach virus. So, um, uh, we were all there and he's getting, I mean, he's like four, five, six, seven in the morning. No sleep. And I was like, he said, dude, you got to play. And he, ah, man, I wax as a qualifier. He goes, <laughs> he plays his first round match down in the first set. And he starts puking in the bucket. And the commentators are like, oh, oh. I almost said his name. Oh, he has a, has a stomach virus today. And he's puking. He's flu-like symptoms. And we're dying. We're watching it on TV. Dying. Gacked out of our minds. Laughing our asses off. And then he retires in the second set and said, oh, he's had a bad case of food poisoning. And he, <laughs> <laughs> with us all night, railing it up. I'm talking donkey line, Sam Kennison stuff would be proud. Tommy Lee himself would have been damn. So just a little fun, that kind of shit happens. And uh, I like to give you little stories like this because it was fun, we had a great time. Stupid stuff, crazy stuff, fun stuff. But uh, I just want to give you some uh, extra hints to help you game and also give you some fun stories too because giving you a story about like, this is how you hit a forehand and then you run it Eat a bag of dicks. I'm going to make it funny. I'm going to make tennis fun. Get in here, talk a little trash, sling some rackets, smack a few people in the face. I'm just kidding.